everyone! Welcome back to English Sunday School. Did you guys feel like you got any special signs from God this past week? I hope so! This week, we're going to learn about the 10 plagues. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh's palace. They said, you must let the Israelites go free. If you do not, God will punish you. Pharaoh said, no, I do not know your God. This made Pharaoh very angry. So he made the Israelites work even harder. God was not pleased. So first, he changed the main river to blood. But Pharaoh did not care. He said, I will never let the Israelites go. So God sent frogs to Egypt. They were sitting in chairs, hopping upstairs, and jumping all over the beds. Pharaoh did not like this. So he said, take the frogs away, and I will let your people go. God took the frogs away, but Pharaoh changed his mind and said, no. So God sent more plagues to Egypt. First, there were the pesky gnats. Then came the frenzy of flies. Next, all the animals got sick. Then the Egyptians' skins broke out in sores. Damaging hailstones came, and then swarms of locusts ate the crops. Then darkness covered everything. It took 10 plagues to free the Israelites. A plague is something that causes a lot of trouble. Let's list them together. What were they? Blood, frogs, frogs, gnats, gnats, flies, flies, wild animals, wild animals, sores, sores, hailstorms, hailstorms, locusts, locusts, darkness, darkness, and the last one, death of the first born. Good job, guys. I hope you remember them. Sometimes, Pharaoh said he would let the people go. But after God took away each plague, Pharaoh changed his mind and said no. Moses had one last message from God for Pharaoh. If you do not let my people go, the firstborn son in each Egyptian family will die. Pharaoh did not want to lose to God. He refused to listen, so God kept his promise. Pharaoh finally let the Israelites free. Moses was finally able to take the Israelites out of Egypt. This wasn't the end of his journey though. This was only the beginning. But we'll get to that next week. This week, let's remember to listen to God. God speaks to us through many signs. Is there anything specific he's telling you to do? Have you been not listening to him? Think about this throughout the next couple of days. See you guys next week. Bye. Last week, we finished the Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught us how to pray to God. Do you remember? Let's pray to God with your singing and dancing.
，拜拜。It is a relay game. After all the team members stand behind the starting line, each team gets a spoon and an egg, which can also be a small bowl. The first player starts from the starting line with the egg on the spoon and carries the egg to a turnaround point and back to the starting line again. While carrying the egg, you must place your other arm behind your back. If the egg is dropped, the player must retrieve the egg and start again from the exact point the egg was dropped. The player goes back to the team and passes the egg off to another team member who takes their turn. The team that finishes first wins the race. Isn't it fun game? It looks simple, but it is not easy to balance the egg. You may be able to practice with your parents and siblings. Hope you enjoy this game. See you next Sunday. Bye. Story. In today's story, Moses and Aaron ask Paro to let the Israelites go free, but Paro didn't, and got angry instead. Then, God punished Egypt with ten plagues. This story was filled with both suspense and relief. Today, we are going to make the ten plagues memory card game using this box. Then, shall we begin our activity? Who can do it? Me, 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 I can do it! Shall we look at our materials? We will need a ruler, a pen, a cutter knife, glue, the 10 place memory card game template, green colored paper, and a box. Then, let's get started! 
You can click more down below to download the template through our download link. Caution! Make sure you have another help you as use the color knife. First, cut out the box and color the paper into 20 pieces that are 9 cm long and 8 cm wide. Second, copy down the words from the template, then cut out the template. Third, glue the colored paper pieces to the front of the box pieces and the template pieces to the back. Finished! Let's play together! Mix the cards and turn them facing downwards on the table. Choose the order in which you guys will play. Each turn, you can flip two cards at a time. If the image on the two cards are the same, you are allowed to take them. Play until all the cards are matched up. Each player should read the words on the card out loud. The person who takes the most pair wins. Look, today's final product. Did you guys have fun? The game is really fun, isn't it? You can play it with your family at home. See you next week. Bye!